until now we have seen what is a database we got a basic introduction to databases and then we have seen way to write the code we started into workbench after looking into workbench we have also imported a data say, database called sales database so we have a code if we run that code automatically the sales database will be created so if you go to mysql workbench you see sales database here inside that there are tables table one customers employees officers and then order details orders payments all these tables they must be present if you have this sales database then we are ready to go so create the database you are already done with that create the database by now if you have not created the database we already told you how to do that in the last video how do you do that you go to server import from that self contained sql file if that for some reason is not working there is a shortcut for it what you can do is create a new sql file create a, a blank file and then open that creating sales db dump dot sql open this file and copy all the contents from here what exactly this file is trying to do it contains all the commands for creating this database drop the database if it exists that means sales database it exists so it will be dropped create database if not exists sales database will be created customers table will be created so this code i haven't really explained you this is the ddl code data definition language code we will get into it later as of now what i want you to do is you simply select this whole code and then execute so its database got dropped and sales database got created if you refresh this then it will work let us refresh it and see drop database if sales exists and from here on we will just try to execute it let us re-execute this contract database sales doesn't exist yes drop database if it exists okay then from here on let us execute this created the database and then execute all the commands all the commands everything so once you run this this whole commands everything is running can you see that everything is executing finally the sales database will be created look at this if you refresh this sales database got created that is one more way of creating the database the better way would be importing it from dot sql file otherwise you can copy paste the content from that sql file now you don't need this sql file you can simply close this down okay don't save it don't no need to save this because we already have the code for it okay that is the database creation now we will get into this session called dml what does that dml mean data manipulation language by the way how do you give a comment in sql you can use this double line that is for a comment or you can use this way also dml commands okay so that is a comment that will not be executed in the sense like that is not considered as a command okay now let me tell you the major sql mantra once you know that particular mantra then your sql will be very easy almost all the commands are connected to this here is the one basic sql mantra all of you pay attention on this what is the major sql mantra select star from where the sql mantra is select star from where the important sql mantra that you must remember is select star from where say it again select star from where let us see how do we use this mantra to fetch all the details or to handle all the dml commands dml stands for data manipulation language so here is our first command how do you fetch all the values from a particular table how do you fetch all the values from a particular table once again what is the mantra select star from where so 
let us suppose if you have products table one of the table is products can you see that table in the sql here is one of the table products table how do you fetch all the values from that products table so go to our mantra what is the mantra select star from where where is it you want to select star means all values all columns all rows select star from products you write it like this this is semicolon that is indicating end of the command so i'll go to sql and i'll type select star from products table products if you execute that then it will fetch all the values from the products table so if you go to products table product code product name product line can you see that output product scale product vendor product description quantity in stock buying price msrp everything will be displayed select star from products select star from table name go ahead write this select star from products see whether you are getting the same output as i am getting here pause this video and execute this command then come back now the second command is how do you fetch values from a particular column i am not interested in all the columns okay let's say i want to print only product name i am not interested in product code product line product scale product vendor product description no i am not interested in all this i am interested in only product name only that need to be printed in the output once again go back to your sql mantra what is it select star means everything instead of star what do you need to write you have to write the column name whatever is the column name that you want to mention here the column name is product name product name is the column name from table name what is the table name products so column name is replace that column name with product name as it is it is mentioned product name select product name from products and then the semicolon as usual that is required to indicate the end of the sentence so write it select what is it product name product name if you execute this what is the expected output the expected output is only one column let's execute that that's the one column pause this video write it and then check whether you got the same output as i can see here okay what if here if you see that it is simply getting all the product details even if a product is repeated twice it is simply printing that how many ever rows are there in that column or in that table all the rows are getting printed here okay what if i want to remove the duplicates i want to get only distinct values taken by this product name only distinct values in this column i want to print if a value is repeated twice i don't want to print that value which is repeated twice if that is the case then you can do a small modification to this if in case if there are any duplicates if you do not want to print the duplicates if you want to print the distinct values from that product name or let's say if you have a different column let us take a different column called product line if you see product line then you will see various values repeated motorcycles motorcycles motorcycle classic cars trucks and buses trucks and buses what if i want to get only distinct values from this product line if that is the case what you can do is instead of writing this command you write distinct select distinct product line from products again the mantra is same select star from where select a distinct product line from products if you execute that what is the output 
motorcycle classic cars only the distinct values this is the original output from the full table everything from that product line column will be printed so actual table is select star from products let us get the actual table first here is the actual table so if i go to product line if I want to get only product line, that looks like this. But if I want to get only distinct values from that product line, the command is select distinct product line from products. Execute that, you'll get this output. Distinct is the keyword. What if I want to fetch a couple of columns? What if I want to fetch, let us suppose product name, MSRP. There are two columns product name as well as MSRP. If I want to fetch those two columns from the table, do you remember the table? What used to be the table? Select star from products that will give you the actual table. What if I want to print product name MSRP? Where is MSRP? Product name and maximum selling retail price. Okay. MSRP and product name. If I want to print these two, what will be the code again? Select Write the two columns that you want to print. Product name, select product name, MSRP. Both of them should be separated by comma. Product name is one column, MSRP is another column. From, from, what is the table name? From products. Write it this way, then you will get the output. What is the expected output? What is the expected output? Let us write it down. Select product name. I'm just simply copy pasting it. Product name, comma, MSRP from products. What's the expected output? Your expected output is product name and MSRP. That's the one that you will get printed. What if in the output, I don't want product name? What if my column name should be model name? Let's say this is the bike or car model. I don't want to call it as product. I want to give an alias. I want to give a different name to it, okay, in the output. Then you can give an alias using this command. You can use as command. Let's say I want to select product name from products, but in the output, I don't want to display it as product name. In the output, I want to display it as model name. Then you write as whatever is the name that you want to give. Here in the output, I want to display this as model underscore name from products. If I do not give from, can you see this? There is a small indication that there is some syntactical error that we are making. So if you write from, select product name as model name, that means product name will be selected, but in the output, it will be renamed as model underscore name. You check this out, model underscore name. Whatever is the name that you give here, that will be printed. Can you do the same for two columns? Yes, that is also possible. If you want to give alias, that's not a very big deal. You write it down, product name as model name, product, product name as model name, MSRP as, let's say I want to say as price of the vehicle or the cars or whatever. Then in the output, what is the expected output? You will have model name and price. It's actually MSRP, price is MSRP, model name is product name. So you can give two aliases as well. Pause this video and then practice along with me. Once you are done with this command, then only we have to proceed further. Otherwise, stop this, go back and make sure that you're not making any syntactical errors. Usually, when you're trying for the first time, you may be missing small, small, you may be making small mistakes, minor errors. When you're practicing multiple times, then you will avoid such errors, okay? What if I want to push all of them into a table? Right now, it is just printing, but it's not creating any table. What if I want to push everything into a table? I want to create a new table out of this. Right now, this is the output. What if this output I want to store in a new table? So for that, you need to use a command create table. Okay. So you write the same thing as it is. On top of it, you add one extra command. What is it? Create table. Create table. 
is the syntax and you write the table name whatever is the table name my table name is product name table this is the table that i'm naming this is the table that i'm giving the name as okay create table name create table product name underscore table how do you create the table select product name as model name msrp as price from products if you execute this if you execute this the output is not printed does it mean this did not work it worked we did not get any error if you check this carefully there's no error it worked create table that command has worked but where is the output where is the output here there is a new table prod underscore name underscore table should be created how will you get to see that you have to click on refresh look at my cursor there's a refresh button here if you click on that prod underscore name underscore table now how do you print the values from prod underscore name underscore table how do you print it again if you want to print here what is the mantra of sql select star from what is the table name select star from table name is prod name table then the semicolon that will indicate end of the command then execute it here you go prod underscore name underscore table looks like this that's how you can put the values that are selected inside a table that is the first set of commands now what i want you to do is go back to your ppt and watch lab one i want you to practice all these i want you to recap all these what is it write an sql query for below requests or requirements select all the rows from employee table so what i want you to do is go here there's a table called employees select all rows from employee table write it down okay this is your homework you must do this select only employee number and job title I'm not interested in all the columns, employee number and job title. Create a new table for the resultant data. You understand this? You execute this command, but the result you must put it in the new table. Select only employee number and email. Rename employee number as EMP ID, email as contact underscore mail. Create a new table from the resultant data. Print the values in this table print the values that are there in this resultant table these are the three questions you must be able to do it try to quickly do them now this is your first lab exercise once you have understood all these commands you must be able to do it now okay go ahead do it